Skadoosh. Hey ninjas, thanks for tuning in. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. Today, I got a different kind of video. Um, I got a letter from a very long, long time uh, fan of the channel. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start reading it, okay? Joey, I have been meaning to send you something to keep, something to give away, and something to return signed. Ever since your birthday last year, I've been trying to put together a few things in mind. Nice rhyme. Before I get into the contents of this stay-at-home quarantine fun box, I would like to tell a quick story. Listen up. So, my twin sister and I used to enjoy collecting Pokemon back in the day. I wasn't into magic at the time. More often than not, I used to go into the game shop and purchase a few packs and then hand my sister half of the packs. Little did I know, most of her packs were better. I eventually gave up and gave her all my collection since that one day she pulled a holographic Charizard. Very nice. It was a childish thing to do, giving up on something rather than having fun in the process of collecting and opening packs. But I was young. In late December 2010, I returned back from my year-long deployment overseas and returned to a new norm of things, both with friends, family, and relationships. Unfortunately, tragedy struck my household. In May of 2011, my family lost my youngest sister due to suicide five days before Mother's Day. A month later, still Griffin... Still grief-stricken, my family lost my twin sister from a car accident, literally right down my road. Oh my god. Which ended up being five days before Father's Day. A lot of pain and grief has engulfed my family and friends' lives back then, and it is still a sensitive topic at times. But being open and authentic with our stories, with those we trust and feel comfortable with, we become stronger and keep moving forward is something I try to keep at heart today. <clears throat> now I keep moving forward with a piece of a poem I wrote that states, and here's the poem, My love for them is equal to the sun at night. Even if you don't see it, it is always there. Beautiful. I started playing Magic via Duels of the Planeswalker 2012 video game later that year. From there I started collecting a bunch of cards, and putting together the game's decks while creating some of my own. I even pulled all Planeswalkers in one day for Core 2011. To continue on with this bundle of goodies, I would like to explain this as simple as possible, and you can proceed in whatever fashion you may seem fit. Please review all of these steps prior to opening them first. Let's begin. And then he goes on, step one, two, three, four, for what I'm about to open, but man... <clears throat> Really quick, my friend, um, Adam Thorman, I had no idea. Um, I, I cannot imagine what you and your family have gone through. That That's devastating. I, I My heart goes out to you, thoughts and prayers. I, I don't know what else I can say. That is a, that is a extreme loss right there. And, uh, I mean, the, the only thing you could do at that point I mean, I don't know. Keep your head up, um, and just you got you got to move forward. I mean, that is that is that is extremely rough. That is that is terrible, and uh, for anyone who's ever contemplating, you know, um, suicide, definitely get in touch with someone. You know, before before you go through with that, because there's no coming back from that. Absolutely nothing, you know. We we all have our bouts with depression. I'm no exception to that. Um, and uh, I myself have had thoughts, you know, um, years ago. And this is a really sensitive topic, but you you just gotta. There's help out there. I'm not a doctor. I can't really give any advice, but talk to someone, you know, before um, before ever, you know taking steps, you know, that could end it because, you know, when the curtain closes, that's it. But, um, that aside, wow. Um, Adam, my heart goes out again to you and your family. Um, and then losing, uh, another to, um, the car accident. Oh my God, man. I, I can't imagine, especially, and these being tied around fathers and mother's day that, 
that's uh that hits me you know that hits home um i cannot relate with that but just when i say it hits home i mean i have a brother i got a sister you know and just just thinking you know um of something like that happening that kind of a tragedy <sighs> wow um and one more time your poem um, my love for them is equal to the sun at night. Even if you don't see it, it is always there. That's beautiful, man. Um, short and, and uh, very to the point there. Guys, gals watching, if you're ever thinking about something like that, you know, definitely, again, give someone a call. And also, I mean, wow, life is so short. Life is very unexpected, you know, um, here today, gone tomorrow kind of things. Um, no one can predict a, ca a car accident, you know. No one can predict some kind of freak accident, you know, that, that takes someone's life. Um, and uh, the healing process, uh, I can only imagine, you know, what it's like. I've lost loved ones as well, but um, nothing like... Uh, Adam's gone through here. So hearts and prayers for sure. Um, definitely, you know, uh, I don't know, type love in the comments or give it out, you know, just to show some uh, some uh, respect, you know. Heart goes out to you, pal. Um, definitely you and your family, uh, again, in my prayers. But let's get into what Adam sent. Let's see if um, we can bring some positive into this video and uh, see what all um, is going on here. Adam, thank you for sending this out. And I'm sure this... Um, this took you um, a lot. Of, it took a lot of courage to send this. Let's dive into this. Oof. All right, uh, we're gonna go through this. Uh, yeah, there's step one, two, three, four, five. And remember, there is gonna be some stuff given out. Um, one last time. Wow, Adam, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Um, you know, I, I, it means a lot. So greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, let's go. Let's begin. Number one, find the clear sleeves, which uh, are marked for AJ on it. As you can see, it's Pokemon. And uh, yeah, open it on up. Okay. And then he had it listed, like start from this side and go through. So AJ, you guys are not familiar. Um, he is my son. Um, and he, uh, he collects Pokemon. Crazy enough, he doesn't play the game, but he loves collecting. And I was like that with sports cards. So I can't really knock him for not playing the game. Um, as I collected baseball and football cards when I was his age, and uh, you couldn't play with those. So it's like, whatever, to each his own, you know. Um, I have no clue um, uh, what any of these cards really mean. All I do know, I, I got a, a, a crazy story myself from back in the day. Uh, first edition, an entire box I had. I remember getting it from KB Toys when I was young, and uh, I ended up selling it for dirt cheap when I was about 18, 19 years old. I had an entire booster box. A first edition Pokemon when it first came out, long gone now. <laughs> uh, I was stupid, along with a bunch of magic cards, but man, uh, AJ is definitely going to appreciate this. Um, I, I know I'm going to make sure he watches this video as well. Uh, he's not with me right now, um, he's over at his mother's, but uh, he will be here soon, that's for darn sure. And uh, yeah, I think I have it the majority of the summer, so there you go. Uh, he will definitely uh, like what he's looking at here. I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Um, if you guys have a clue what you're looking at here, awesome. Uh, Meg Meganium. I have <laughs> again. This is all this is all foreign stuff to me. Alakazam. There you go. Really, really neat. Um, so some sentimentals going on here. Appreciate it, Mr. Thorman. Thanks, man. Alakazam. 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 Dark Dragonite. That looks cool. I don't even know the dates on these things. It says something like 95, 96, 98. Uh, 99 to 2000 Wizards. That's right. Wizards of the Coast makes Pokemon. For those of you who do not know, now you do. Put it on the back, right? Okay. Blastoise. There you have it. Blastoise. I remember having a foil Blastoise from the first edition. No idea what that's worth nowadays, but wow. Uh, yeah, I don't have it anymore, but there you go. <laughs> There's a Blastoise. Pretty cool. So that takes me down memory lane. A Dark Charizard. Get a load of that guy. Pretty nifty. Nail flick. That's his special move. A nail flick and continuous fireball. Hot dogs. I have no clue. Pretty neat, though. And then lastly, a shining Kabutops. You can't have more than one shining Kabutops in your in your deck. In your deck. So that must be a very, very powerful card right there. 
Holy smokes. Okay. So there is the Pokemon. Thank you again so much for sending these out. Um, again, yeah, I don't... Uh, if any collectors out there are like, whoa, I'm, I'm sure you know some cards might stand out to people, but thank you so much, Thorman, for sending that out. Um, let's keep it ball rolling here. Number two. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to act in this video right now. Like, I, I want to be fun and exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, wow, I don't, I, you know, I, I can't be myself because, um, yeah, um, yeah, that, that was pretty serious stuff there. Uh, number two, next is the Black Swamp box, uh, which has opened first. There are two wrapped items in there. Please review both and sign all cards within the box and return including the swamp. Okay, and then it says number one, number two, what it's all about. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, reaching all in. Okay, yeah, there is a box over here, guys, just so you know. I'm taking out of this box right here. But I thought it would just make it a little easier if I, like, planned a little bit ahead with all this, um, rather than just winging it, because it would just take a lot more time and be a bit more confusing. So that's why I'm doing it the way I am for this one. And I told Dorman I'd open it up first. I wasn't sure what was going on with it. Okay, so we have two of these. Nice little deck box there, Magic Gathering. Um, I took my little... Uh, my guard off my hand because uh, uh, my friends were like, you got to like at least exercise it a little bit. You know, if not, like don't lift anything, you know, wear your guard other times, but you got to at least exercise it a little bit. I got a really messed up thumb, so uh, tore some kind of stuff. All right, so all this you want signed. We're just going to go over this really quick. Battle cry. Is this like the entire, uh, this is, uh, oh, there you go. Steel Overseer. This is one of your decks, huh? Not too shabby right there. Put a plus plus one on each artifact creature control. Steel Overseer is nasty. Go for the throat. Awesome card. Awesome, awesome removal for sure. Hunger of the Nim. Perkage gets plus one. Okay. Ooh, Ethereum Sculptor. Legit sauce. Artifact spells you play cost one less to play. I can imagine you get uh, this deck getting a little out of control really quick. Tide Hollow Strix. Cool card. Flying in the Death Touch 2 1. I confused this with something else before. That's a nice little card there, though, for sure. Absolutely cool. Style. Rebuttal. Yeah, look at that. Counter target spell. Crazy actions and the metal craft. Nice little deck. Dead Reckoning. Oh, Dark Steel Play. One of my uh, favorite cards. It, uh, Dark Steel Play is indestructible. Equipped creature is indestructible. Equipped too. You want me to sign all these? Um, wow, that's a lot of signing. But uh, for you, my friend, you got it. There's Undermine. Master of Ethereum. Cool card right there. A powerhouse, no doubt about it. Um, yeah, pretty dirt. Dirtying, I should say. Etch Champion from Scars. There you go. Dispense. Some Justice. Pilgrim's Eye. Looking pretty cool. Looking like a pretty nasty deck. Got Sleep over here. I want to say Cucumber Stone. <laughs> Creatures your opponent's control get minus one, minus zero. I got two of those in there. All right. Seer Sundial. Shape of New. Legit. Damnation. Really, really powerful card. That one's nasty. Destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Awesome, awesome powerhouse. One of the, uh, that's like one of the banners on the channel too, which I do need to create a new banner. Uh, Sanctum Gargoyle and the Foilness, the Crawler, a Journal, Mirrorworks, Razorfield Rhino. Your deck was pretty legit, man. Worm Coil Engine, that's legit too. The ones that are sleeved, Thorman, I'll message you. I don't know if you want me to sign the sleeve because it looks like the sleeved ones are worth a, uh, you know, a little prettier penny on there. So, Soul Quake, Bada Bing. Master Sphinx, a Sovereign, Colossus, nasty card, Dark Steel Colossus. Just announced they're getting it's getting a reprint. Hot dogs, there you go. Uh, and then we got some tokens in the back, Golem's Heart. I want to go a little bit slow so you guys can see like what the deck's all about. It looks like a pretty powerful uh, artifact build, my friend. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, so there is the first right there, and then number two. My hand's gonna be sore. You know I write on my right hand, right, Thorman. <laughs> My hand will be completely sore after this one. Uh, all right, let's get this puppy open. Do, 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 do. Always away from yourself, kids. Always away from Ah, my thumb. All right. Um, scissors anywhere, Joey Moss? Probably not. All right. We're going to dig up in here. Oof. There we go. Now we're cooking Heaven's Bakery. So here's this other deck. Um, he said I inspired this one based off of... Uh, my love for Urza, but he just replaced Urza with Tezzeret. That's what he said he did here. Tezzeret, cruel mechanism. Me 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 Why can't I say that? Machinist. There you go. Really nice. This this isn't all foiled out. Oh, this is all foiled out. All right, so you definitely want me to sign the sleeves. There's no way I'm going to sign, uh, you know, take these out and sign on them. Wow. 
So this is maybe your just collection. Is this a deck or collection? Very nice cards here, man. Holy crap. Tezzeret the Schemer. Wow. Was not expecting all this. Ooh, baby. Yeah, I'm going to take that out. I'm going to sign on it. No, okay. <laughs> Definitely going to sign on the sleeves. Wow. Very, very impressive, man. You had a good collection going on here. I wish I could have Urza the same way uh, they got Tezzeret, you know? Man, I forgot all about this card. Just get a load of that. Very nasty. These are not uh, not cheap, by the way. These are these are uh, prime real estate. Tezzeret the Seeker. Holy smokes, man. Ah, Tezzer the Seeker again. Very cool. Battle at the Bridge. Nasty little card. Some barrier. Thopter's all up in here. Really cool deck. Thank you for sharing this, man. Very, very neato. Some Thopter Foundries. Tinker. Get a load of that. I don't even know what set that's from. That's from something. Tezzer's Gambit. Thirst for Knowledge. The Gatebreaker. Wow. Really neat. Uh, very, very neat powerhouse for sure paradox engine of course of course nasty and planar bridge i i was always speculating on this card that's going to jump in value at some point but who knows uh brilliant ultimatum before the ultimatums were printed and of course urza lord high artificer very very impressive i'd like to see urza at the end there that was really cool definitely going to get these all out and signed to you my good sir all right let's see what's going on in the next one here so we got number Number three. Oh, he says, this is my favorite deck and probably my first-hand experience with magic. I made trying on them all. Okay, that's what that one was. Okay, and the Tezzeret deck. Number three is the Rakdos box. This is an early birthday gift to you. A month and a half early or so. Yes, June 20th is my birthday. I am giving you this because I thought you said you love dragons. I absolutely do. I hated going against this deck. I uh, never really enjoyed playing it uh, as it either. However, I do. Have a dragon commander uh, deck, though. Ironically, inside, I provided a planeswalker in it. Back then, my friends and I used to play a smaller version of Commander Oathbreaker for what it is called now. We used to play with the planes, uh, planeswalker mixed into a 60 version deck or played with a, as a 60 commander type, but the full deck without the commander tax. Enjoy. So number three. Wow. Uh, you didn't have to do all this, my dude. This is, uh, this is amazing. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this is number three. It's the Rakdos Elf. Whoa, holy crap. Woo, doggy. Okay. Let's see what we got up in here. Appreciate you guys sticking around for this one. This is an interesting video. Stuff you don't really get to see every day. Um, so these are all sleeves. I'll put that aside. Okay. And let's take a little gander here. Very, very nice and neat, Mr. Thorman. Very nice and neat. Sarkhan the Mad. Um, I don't know why it seems so thick, but I guess it's just the sleeves. Okay. Uh, Festering Goblin, some Disfigure up in here, gotta like that. Love this card, Dragon Master Outcast. Very simple to remove, no doubt about it, but man, if you can keep this thing on the field and protect it, maybe give it Hexproof or something, this thing gets out of control. Got the Raging Gabo, Burst Lightning, pretty sweet. Raging Gabo, oh, I remember these, that's a uh, portal right there, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, absolutely, that's portal. Is that the first portal? Um, I think it might be. I know if I see the other symbol on there. There's Tempest. These started going up in price recently. Really, really cool. Uh, all the medallions, especially the ones from Tempest and whatnot. Dragon's Claw. Whenever you a uh, player cast a red spell, you may gain one life. Not bad. It's not bad. Dragon's Claw yet again. A whole bunch of those. Goblin War Diver. Driver. Whatever. Pyroclasm Dragon Fodder. I like Dragon Fodder. Just for two. Two one one red goblins. Not bad. Earthquake up in here. Some Dragon Fodder. Goblin Piker, very slick. The Nulls, the Slavering Nulls. There you go. Wow. Dragon Speaker Shaman. I got a load of that. Love the art on dragon cards. I really do. Dragon Speaker Shaman again. Rally the Forces. Tank Ridge you control, get plus one, plus zero, and gain first strike to one of turn. It's pretty good. That first strike really can just knock a hole in them. Giant Scorpion, Assassinate, destroy target tapped creature. There you go. <laughs> Crucible of Fire, love this card. Dragon Creature you control, get plus three, plus three. This is like a sleeper card. I should this should definitely go up in value over time. It's just powerful. Goblin Offensive from Saga. Some Grave Diggers. Furnace Whelpers. It looks like we're getting into the Dragos now. Breathe of Malfagor. Breath of Malfagor, sorry. We can't talk today. All right, and then we got the last half of the deck, which I'm sure we're going to see the Dragos. There we go. Voracious Dragon. 
with the Devour 1. Nasty ability. Um, as this comes into play, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This creature comes into play with that many plus and plus encounters on it. Devour, it, it, man, if you got like a Devour 3 or 4, just stupid. Really, really cool card. Um, Malfagor. Can I say that? Malfagor? Sure. Very, very sweet card there. I can't think of the name. Is that a, um, Aurora? Not Aurora. Uh, Shards of Alara? Alara, maybe? Maybe. Flame Blast Dragon. Legit. Hellkite Charger. Cool card. Very cool card. Ooh, Rhodes Bladewing. I like the art on that one. It's just weird. I don't know. I, I, is it just me? It's just weird. Dragon Legend. 6-5, Flying in Haste. Man, magic card, dragons out of the... Uh, it's definitely like a, a, a trip down memory lane. Another one of my favorite art cards right there. That is just epic. Um, the Fury Born Hellkite. Get a load of that. Powerful as can be. Bloodthirst 6. If an opponent was dealt damage this turn, this creature enters the battlefield with 6 plus and plus of counters on it. It's nuts, man. Very, very cool. Very strong. Um, and then Mountains to close it out. Looks like he's a bunch of M12s. Very sweet deck, man. Very, very sweet. There's some Goblin Tokens out the back. Another Drago, Dragon, and a Gabo. Wow. Um, that'll make your thumb have an exercise, I'll tell you that much. Very, very cool. That is awesome, man. Um, I, I, thought, I thought I just read some Commander or something like that. Pre-constructed in-game? No, I just read it wrong. Okay. I think so, yes. Um, wow. Okay. Let's get this back in here really quick. Foreman, you're, you're, you're crazy with it, bro. Um, this was, none of this was expected. Um, but thank you for the early birthday gift. That's really, that's really nice of you, my friend. Very, very nice of you. Make sure I get this in here. I'm going to put this actually aside. Let's do it like that for right now. I'm going to put this over here. All right. What do we get up? What do we get up in the next piece? That was number three. Um, never really enjoyed playing it either. <laughs> it's funny. All right, uh, four, as it is written on the dual deck, number four is the time for some things to get axed. Oh, crap. In honor of my birthday, March 9th, I have, I have thrown together 12 cards and would like three to be axed and nine are to be given away. They are numbered already, but I'll leave it up to you. May the odds be in someone's favor unless the axe shall claim the most expensive card. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to pause it right there, okay? And I'm going to tell you how we're going to go about doing this. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So how this is going to work is three different people are going to receive three different cards out of this. Three to X, nine to give out. Um, so, Thorman, thank you so much. I haven't opened this yet. I just cracked the top with a knife, and we're going to go and see what's all up in here. Now, I'm not going to show anything first. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I, have, I did not know they were numbered, so I have no plan for this except for we're going to roll a 20-sided die really quick. And we're going to pick out three that are going to get destroyed. Boosh! 17 doesn't count. Ooh, a 19 doesn't count. 17 again, what are the odds? A 3. Okay, so 3 is getting the old chop. Oosh! 7 is getting the old chop. Oh boy, this hasn't happened in a while. 15, too high. And 6. So good old 6 is getting the chop also. This stuff. I'm just going to do a shuffle here. That's how we're going to do that. And then it's going to be something like this. Here's going to be one pile. Subscriber. 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 Uh, I'm sorry, patron. Uh, patron's the last pile here. Okay? So the 8s are the patrons. I'm just going to mark a P on this stack. P. There we go. This is what he gave me to sign with, so pretty awesome. Okay, these three are getting wrecked. If you want to get your hands on this, I just want you guys to tell me an experience you had in Magic the Gathering. Um, tell me, you know, uh, one of the most memorable experiences you ever had in this beloved game. That's it. That's all I want to hear. Tell me about something sweet sauce. Um, try to keep it under a paragraph, I'd say. It could even be a few sentences, doesn't matter what it is. And two people at random, two subscribers at random will be chosen. And that's how it's going to go. All right. So here's number six. Oh, boy. Peace, love, animosity. Oh, my God. Okay, that's that's gone. That's that's dead. Do that again. Camera's moving. Who would have thought? There we go. Oh, man. Woo. Thorman, this one's for you, pal. Showtime. Oh, my God. That was a clean cut. Appreciate that one. That was juicy right there. 
All right, and number seven. Oh, hot diggity dog. Why would he do that? Oh, God. Okay, we didn't go all the way through. Somewhere a little unclean. That's all right. It happened here. Oh, boy. We're going to show what these are. Also, um, definitely like this video for sure. If you haven't already, make sure you like the video to be eligible for this. Got to be a subscriber. And... Um, this is a video, I mean, you could share somewhere, uh, definitely somewhere on social media. This is a more touching video, you know, um, you know, some real life stuff and also some, uh, some fun shenanigans throughout the way, but wow, definitely. Okay. So here's that first pile. Oh man. What did we destroy? I can't wait. Number nine. We're just going to flip it like this. Oosh. Ooh, we can't even see. We got to go like that. Okay. So here's the first pile. Someone's going to get all this. Ooh, uh, pure steel paladin. Not too shabby, my friend. Pretty legit. Okay. So that is one of them. Then we have the number five over here. Oh, boy. Hopefully nothing crazy. Cost of the hammer. There you go. All right. So a nice little planeswalker going out someone from uh, Mirrodin. The old scars. The old scars. Wow. I did not expect to see planeswalkers in here. Number 12. Boo. Oh, my. Poor. <laughs> We dodged a bullet there, Billy. Hot diggity darn. Wow. Uh, Thorman, yeah. We, do oh my God. I don't even want to know what's in these other packs. Okay. Whoa. Someone's about to take this home. Uh, these three. That is crazy. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Again, uh, people will be chosen at random. So, I mean, it's up for anybody. That's some serious value right there. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Oh my gosh. That that's that's nuts. That, that that's absolutely crazy. What a video. Okay, up. Oh, what am I doing? Don't even know. Ember cleave. That's juicy too. Whoa. Okay, there. You definitely. You you're 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 out there, man. Uh, I can't believe you took the guts to do this. That's, that's gutsy, my friend. Oosh. Stony silence. Cool card as well. Great for them sideboards. There you have it. Uh, definitely shuts them down really quick. Stony Silence, nice card, nice card. And number 10, oh, I don't want to know what I destroyed. Rune Scar Demon, another really cool card as well. Very, very slick. So that's a nice little um, uh, three cards, you know, someone's going to take home as well. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, this, this is share-worthy all day. Wow, unbelievable. Okay, uh, here we go. Um, the third one, this is going out for uh, patrons, um, this stack. Parallel Lives, Hot Dogs. That's a card. I remember it was like at three bucks. I'm like, this one's going to go up in value. Like, I don't see why I wouldn't, you know? Very cool card. And then we have, ooh, Grave Crawler. One of my favorite zombos right there. Absolutely love it. Made a zombie deck. It's almost always in them. All right. And lastly, we have number deuce. Boo! Whoa! Force of Negation. Solid card right there. Mr. Foreman, you're a very generous, kind man, sir. Very generous, kind man. Um, I, I, I guarantee people will appreciate this, but now people are about to shudder um, <laughs> and, 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 and cry. Okay, what oh, what did we butcher up here? Oh, man. Oh, man. Here we go. What is this? Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh. Geist of Saint Traft is one we destroyed. Whoa. Good times. Good times. Okay. Um, I think it could have been worse. It could have been worse there. But uh, we're not done. So there's that. Uh, I really don't want to try to destroy this any more than it already is. Can we uh, slide this on open here? Cut away from myself. My fans taught me that. They're like Joey Moss. You got to cut away from yourself. As you just completely just butcher this card. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey. This is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. Hey, it's already cut in half. Leave me alone. Here we go. Oh, Omnus Locus of Mana. Ah. It's not good, my friends. Okay. Very, uh, very impressive destru destruction right now. Okay. And lastly, oh, man. Let's just complete it. This one. There we go. Oh, gosh. Okay. What was the last one destroyed? And, oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> it hurts. 
That really, really hurts. That's a stinger right there. That'll leave some marks. Man, you won't see this anywhere else. Wow. Thorman, you're crazy, man. Holy smokes. Uh, we, we definitely destroyed some nasty stuff there. And th this has to be like over 150 bucks value easy. Maybe 200 on the board here. Thank you, Thorman, so much for doing this. And we're not done yet. There's some other stuff going on here. Um, let's finish up reading here. Wow. Um, oof. Ah, <sighs> the last surprise. By the way, happy birthday, March 9th. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy belated birthday. Definitely happy birthday. Um, whoa. Oh, man. The last surprise, number five, has a non-magic product and a magic-related item within. Both of them are belated birthday gifts from last year. Okay, my apologies. So late. The non-magic product reminds me of you in the world of magic. It represents Tree of Life. I thought of you when I saw it. The magic items are something you will really enjoy. One of them, you even said, this card would look really cool in foil. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. This one says open last, but there's also some playmats in here as well. Um, he may have wanted me to do something with those playmats. Um, maybe I missed that cue. Let's see what we got here. This is crazy. What do we got here? <laughs> we got a plate. Everyone likes plate. Wow. Very, very cool. What do we got here? A plate? A dinner plate? Are you trying to take me out for a meal? Is that is that what we're doing here, my friend? Are you trying to take me out for a meal? I'm sure there's something on the back of this. There is. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see what's on the back first. So it's got the old skadoosh from Adam Thorman, a.k.a. Is it a fugacious? We'll go with that. 39, there you go. And on the back. Oh, baby, baby. Get a load of that. Is, that's not a Frisbee, is it? I've been looking for a solid Frisbee. Is that a Frisbee? I'm, 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 I'm probably not supposed to use it as a Frisbee, right? Can I use it as a Frisbee? That looks really cool. That looks really, really cool. That is, that is glorious. I will not use it as a Frisbee, although I have been looking for a new Frisbee. Okay? But I'm going to... Uh, yeah, this is probably going to go up on the wall. I do have a few things hanging on the wall that have been sent out to me over the, uh, over the years. Very, very neat. Um, curious what this guy is over here. Let's not destroy it. Um, let's see. Maybe this way? Sure. Um, I really don't want to damage any of this. But this is not the easiest thing to open. I guess this... Well, there we go. Okay, that works. Hot dogs. What do we got here? Mr. Thorman, you are nutty. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's two cards in here, right? There's two cards in here? Okay, here's one. Oh, but God, yes. Absolutely, the Hushbreaker. Those gentle, sweet, soft, luscious lips. Can't get enough of your love, babe. Absolutely. That is one card I, I definitely said um, I wanted in foil for sure. And there's something else hiding up in here. Let's see what we got here. I just like that Hushbring artwork. It's the first time I've seen like lips like that on a magic card. I'm like, huh? Oh, man! You have outdone yourself conclusively, my friend. Holy crap. This is definitely one card I've wanted in foil forever. Like, since I saw it, I have wanted this card in foil. I have, um, I believe, two copies of the non-foil. No copies of uh, the foil version, but that is amazing. I absolutely love this card. This is going straight into, like, the binder kind of thing situation. Yeah. Um, yeah, hard plastic, all that good stuff. Very, very sweet. Wow. Mr. Uh, Mr. Thorman. I don't know what I did to deserve all this, um, but man, it is very, very, very amazing. Oh, okay. Please sign and return. So we do have some one more thing. That that's nuts. I can't believe I just got a Urza Lord High Artificer foil. <laughs> that is nutty, man. Thank you, brother. That means a lot, man. Thank you so much. And there's Tezzy. Woo! To close her on out. What an insane video thorman um i appreciate you man um i've supplied uh, the last item which is a playmat please sign i hope that wasn't crazy or complicated no not absolutely not stay healthy stay safe thank you man i've supplied shipping okay you absolutely have i saw that my wife and i really appreciate it skadoosh 
Um, thanks for the baby gifts. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I forgot. I almost forgot. I said you baby gifts. Yeah, congrats on the baby, man. There you go. Uh, wow. Thorman, you completely, completely outdid yourself, man. Was not expecting anything of this nature. Um, thank you. And, um, yeah. Um, one last time, my heart goes out to, you know, your family and, um, you know, you. Uh, that's... It's a crazy loss you had there, man. That's a, that was that that must have been an extremely crazy ride that you went on there, um, that no one should ever have to experience. But, uh, God bless, man. And uh, yeah, everyone out there, just a message: is take care of the people you care about most. If you truly care about someone, show them that you you care because time, man, is very precious, and it's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed tomorrow. Um, nothing's promised, you know, um, tomorrow, today, it's just not. So treat people how you would want to be treated, you know, be honest, be loving, be caring, you know, and, and, and show that you, you do appreciate them, you know, um, make them feel, make them feel loved, you know, and I'm sure that love will be returned. God bless everyone. Take care. Skadoosh! Uh.